<laughs> Come on, I know what you're doing. Jen, <laughs> you have been at that for hours. Could you just stop? No, I, Melinda, I can, I can do it. I can get us out of here. Come on. <laughs> no, Melinda, let him keep struggling. I want to see him break before I finish him off. <laughs> oh, come on, Damien. I did what you asked me to. I didn't have you on a single one of my episodes this season. Are you sure about that, Jan? Yes! Are you sure? Yes! Are you really sure? Yes! You sure? <gasps> oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. He's learned the warp ability. Oh, this isn't good. <laughs> oh, shit. Now that I have access to... Oh! Power. <laughs> you are going down. Oh man, why, Damien? Why? I did what you asked me to. You weren't in the episodes at all. No, I'm pretty sure that I told you I did not want to be in your little shows. But I found myself in them. What? Remember the dog? You know the Odyssey. Uh, let's think about that. Oh, the, 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 the cookie? The drugs? Oh, well, yeah, but, but that was before. I, oh, and then, you know, there's a time when you did take my choreography to oh, heart. But, and, but, you, but, and you know just how much I love my choreography. Oh, okay, but I mean, that, that wasn't my fault. You should have said something about wanting to be in them, but first you say you want to, and then you don't, you don't want to be in it, or I, I'm getting confused. Jen, 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 it's okay. It's all right. It's fine. But you're still going down. But, but... Oh, no. This is the time. This is the time for... Payback! Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, are you... Are you, you going to do the thing? I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'm, I'm, try, I'm actually trying. What, 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 have you tried the inner strength but thing? I've been doing it since, like, I've been... Well, I can't do it. I can't try. I can't warp out. I, I mean, <laughs> I mean, the only reason you wouldn't be able to is somebody else was doing it, but... <laughs> it's funny because you're here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here. Yes. Now, I need to leave one person. That's right, you fools. It's Melinda's turn. Oh. I am tired of you bickering all the time because who ends up suffering? Melinda ends up suffering. Now, all I want you to do is make up once and for all for, and put all of this to rest. Yeah, I, don't mean, I don't like him and he's mean to me. It was his fault this time. I ain't, I ain't apologizing to him. He owes me an apology this season. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. After everything you put me through this season. I, I, I put you? Why did you put me? Uh, I, I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. Not gonna happen. Alright guys, then you leave me no choice. Oh! <laughs> no, no, Damien, stay with me! <laughs> she can't keep this up forever. She's gotta get tired at some point. to be in the show. I should have fucking listened. I'm sorry, man. It's, it's, it's cool. It's cool. You know, it sure happens. And I'm sorry for being a dick and, you know, I don't, want to, I don't want things to go crazy, but I didn't mean to ruin your show or... You're cool and all. Your show's, all, your show's awesome at times. I want, and sometimes I do want to be in it, but sometimes I don't want to be in it, but so you just don't listen. You're kind of pushy. You need to work on that. I know, I know. So, I'm going to make you a promise. Mm -hmm. I promise from here on out, when you want to actually be in the show, I will put you in it. And when you tell me I'm not in the mood, I don't want to be in your show whatsoever, I will listen and you will be in it in no way or form. I promise. What? Yes. Okay. We can do that. We can do that. Okay, Melinda, we did what you asked us to. Now, will you please put an end to this? Yes, please. 
No, no, no. There's still one last thing we've got to do. You've got to choose a movie to review, and not just any movie. I want you to pick a winner. The greatest. The one that has won the most awards ever. The most... I mean, there's there's technically like three, three of them. Then pick one! O o okay, okay! Uh, I mean, you, you're kind of stuck here. You want to, you know, get us set up? Mm, I suppose. Whoa! Uh, okay then, well, uh... <clears throat> Greetings, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, and welcome to the newest episode of The Oscar Goes To. I'm Jan Michael. And I'm Melinda. And today's Oscar Goes To... Ben-Hur. Right there. <laughs> Let's begin. Okay, Melinda, you asked and you received, so please tell our audience know what you thought of Ben-Hur. So Ben-Hur is an older movie. Um, this one is a movie that is not as attractive to me. My dad used to watch old films and it just reminded me a lot of all the old ones he used to watch, even their individual stories. And this is one of a man whose life journey, you know, leads him down a specific road. He learns love, you know, sold to slavery. Um, it's just hard for me to get into movies like this. Um, I'm just so used to today's t today's action sequences and storytelling and even editing. Um, things I don't really notice when, as a normal moviegoer, that affect me. I notice them when I watch movies like this. Yeah, this one's very hard to review because... The only real problem with it, the big problem, is that it is a product of the time. Because when you're looking at the product as a whole, it really isn't badly made. Like, the story is very comprehensible, you can easily follow it, you like the characters, there actually is some very entertaining action in it. But, a lot of these staples we've seen improved as time has gone on with other films. And so, we look at a movie like this where they still kind of do the play acting where a lot of it is very over the top but we've now learned we don't need to go over the top all of the time we can have more subtle performances and sometimes that is the more impactful way to tell a story and so you have things like that that yes worked well back then and i can see why this was such a popular movie at the time and why it, it it's one of the films to hold the records for most oscars won but again, it's just we've seen these these styles of film perfected or at the very least uh, done so much better than they were back then. Yeah, the story of pacing is a little uneven, as you can expect with movies that are three hours plus long. Um, but I think that they did a fairly decent job with it. Um, the one thing that I can definitely commend them on was the chariot race. Um, that was all live stunt action, which they were more popular back in the day. Um, I know that horses and, you know, using animals in such ways is not as deemed appropriate at this time. But those stunts and the things that they did were pretty amazing. So if nothing else, watch for that scene. Yes, if there is one thing I think most people are going to remember the movie for, and I think do remember the movie for, is for that chariot scene. It's very impressively done uh, even for today's standards, I think that's one thing that has aged very well, uh, especially the way that it, it transitions. Like some people are getting run over because they fall off the chariot and it looks really gruesome. And, you know, you look at a scene like that and then after you read about like there were really no accidents during that entire filming process of that scene, that's that's very impressive. Uh, so, yes, I think the one thing most people, it's going to stick in their mind is the chariot scene, and for good reason. It, it's just a really great scene in general. For me, if I do have to talk about two negative points to the film, and I mean true negative points, not, not just that they're a product of the time, but two small blunders that I, I think the movie could have really corrected is, first and foremost, uh, about halfway through the movie, there is a, a time skip where... Uh, the main character uh, saves this one person and then it, it jumps forward like three years in time 
And it, during that time, he's supposed to have learned chariot racing and become one of the best in the entire city. And the, the person that whose life he saved ends up adopting him. And it, it's just, it goes from, oh yeah, you know, just thank you for saving my life. All of a sudden, I've decided to adopt this person. And it's weird for a couple of reasons. Uh, first and foremost, Charles Heston looks like a grown man in this movie already. So I don't know how old he is or how old the character is supposed to be, but Charlton Heston looks like a grown ass man already. So this older person going, oh, I've decided to adopt this guy and, and, and the character being, oh yeah, that's great, is really odd. I, I couldn't help but laugh just because it just felt so odd. And, it, and I think it really would have benefited from that time really being shown him learning to chariot race and and seeing this relationship develop between uh, these two characters maybe that could have uh, softened the 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 impact of the adoption itself but i get it this is already like a three and a half hour film they probably didn't want to make it four four and a half hours how long however long it would have taken to tell that moment but the second other complaint that i have with it is that the third act meanders for far too long you get this moment where where the the main character is just depressed and just annoying because of what's happening with with his uh, mother and his sister and it takes a long time to get through these scenes and it's just him moping almost the entire time and they didn't need it to for it to last that long they could have really cut it down um, and, and still made their point. And I think you could have used that time to, again, go back and tell us more of the story uh, that, that took place within those three years. And that, I think, would have flowed a lot better. Uh, and those are really the two big complaints I have with the movie itself. Because uh, everything else, again, I, I think is just very well made. Uh, I just, I really would have liked to have seen these two things fixed. So what did you think about the characters in the movie itself? Mm. I think that the main character was fine. I mean, he was, you know, he was sad when he was sad. He was upset dramatically so when he needed to be. Um, I thought the bad guy was a very bad guy um, in a positive way. Like, I disliked him. What did you think? I, I do think that the antagonist is the strongest performance in the movie. He really does this great switch where you see him, they build him up as this conniving person and how he's going to break the city and break the, the resistance. And then as soon as his friend from, from childhood shows up, he puts on this really nice demeanor and you almost like believe it. It's like, oh, wow, these are two great friends that, that they've known each other for a long time. And then as soon as he knows that his friend's not going to help him out with what he wants, he flips immediately. And because of the way they set him up and showing you that conniving way that he thinks, you totally bought it. And the way he flips is done very well. So yeah, kudos to the acting on that one. So as I mentioned before, this is one of the three Oscar winning films to have won the most awards. And so with that kind of going into it, you have a preconceived notion of what the movie is going to be about and what it really excels at. And with that being said, Melinda, do you think that this film is worthy of its 11 Academy Award wins? With that, would you agree with it winning Best Picture? And could you recommend this movie to today's audiences? I don't know what awards it won, to be honest. Um... But reviewing it and paying really hard attention to the details in the movie, I think that it was probably deserving of some of the awards at the very least. Um, and again, I think of the time, it was probably good enough to deserve most of those awards. Um, would I recommend it today? I suppose so. I mean, there's nothing about it that wouldn't, you know, hinder you in any way. Um, it's just the style that you just need to know that is not going to be comparable to the today's styles. Um, but yeah, if you enjoy older movies and don't mind it, give it a look. And once again, I have to say that this is a 
hard movie to review. Should it have won the Oscar? Yes, very much so because again, thinking about it back then, I can see why this was such a success. Uh, you have this very epic tale with very interesting characters, at the very least a very interesting antagonist, but an interesting journey. Uh, you have great action in, in terms of the chariot race. And so all these elements put in place, I can see why audiences would have loved this movie back then. But again, I do think those things have, done, have been done better since then. Uh, and so would I recommend it? You have to be in the mood for it. If you're not ready to sit down for three and a half hours of this type of story, uh, you're going to be bored. <laughs> I feel you're going to pull out your phone. You're really not going to be paying much attention. Though to the movie's credit, I feel you could pull out your phone um, and then come back to it and, and really just pick up from where it left off and not get lost. So uh, kudos to the movie on that. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think if you're not ready for it, you're just going to be bored. But if you are willing to give it a chance, you will definitely find a very interesting movie and you're going to see why it succeeded in the way that it did. So that's what I got. Take that for what it's worth. Well, I hope you learned your lesson. Yes, yes, I did. And I'm gonna keep my promise to Damien. Speaking of Damien, where is he? He didn't want to do the outro, so I told him where we were gonna film, and he decided to stay in his room. Look at you honoring your friend's request. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that just means we need a new villain for season three. What? Yes. One that's gonna be coming through that door any second! There's nobody coming through the door, down. Yeah. Huh. Oh, oh uh, and maybe we have to wait till after the credits, like in a Marvel film. Oh, look, 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 they're, they're, they're starting now. Nobody there. Son of a!